So I've always been a person who's loved getting my hair done and always wanted my hair put up in some type of way. But my mom was never really the hairstylist I was looking for at five years old. So in, so in addition, it didn't really lead to anything going well as I would always get pretty upset if something didn't look the way I wanted it or be the way I wanted it to go. So in addition, I've taken the time to become older and learn the hairstylists that I've always wanted to get. So hi, I'm Mari, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to do a Dutch break. So first you're going to start by tipping the head upwards to get a better stamp handle while you're doing Then you're going to go to the front of the head and grab a good amount of hair. You don't want to grab too much or too little as you're going to be adding hair as you're going down. Once you have your good amount of hair, you're going to split it into three. Once you have your three, you're going to start, you're going to start on your left side and add hair. And then you're going to cross it under the middle. Then you're going to go to your right side and pick up hair. Then you're also going to cross it under the middle. You're basically going to be keeping and repeating the process of adding hair to each side and crossing it under the middle. Now this technique is what makes the Dutch braid different than a normal braid or a French braid because you're crossing under the middle instead of going over. So basically now you're adding hair to each side and crossing under. This technique also makes the braid be outwards while the French braid makes the braid go under and more of the row on top of it. While the Dutch braid is basically the opposite. Now you can go as far down as you want as doing a complete braid, but I'm just going to go halfway. Now, as a normal Dutch braid would end, you're going to just do a normal braid. But make sure that it's an underhand braid so it goes along with the Dutch braid, because an over braid will just overtake the Dutch. So then you're going to end it off with a quick and easy normal braid. off and just tying it off. And that is how you do a quick and easy Dutch break. All right, give it up. Nice job.